Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all shapes and sizes, welcome back to Rosa Nae TV. I'm a Donald Attack, and today I'll be here for yet another Transfer Daily video, in which I'll be recapping the latest news and transfer rumors going on at AC Milan. Now, let's start off with the keep, as according to them, Milan have contacted Hatam Ben Arfa's entourage to discuss a possible move as his contract with Nice expires in June. Uh, now, Sky Italia, on the other hand, have said that there are no negotiations going on at the moment between Milan and the player. Uh, you know, this could be a good deal for Milan. They could be bringing in a very skillful winger, but it might be a similar situation like Tarap. Uh, you know, sometimes a lazy player. We saw pictures of him uh, in the earlier seasons, and, you know, obviously on his break in the summer, got a little bit chunky, but uh, you never know. Maybe Mihalovic can work something out of him. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about that deal? Leave down in the comments down below. Now, Sky reported that Galatasaray have requested to sign Luis Adriano on loan, but Milan are only interested in selling him on a permanent basis. Now, obviously, Luis Adriano was going to be going to China, to a Chinese club with a big, big fee. We're all happy. You know, he's a great player. He has a good personality. We like having him at Milan. But for that fee, you cannot reject it. Uh, it wasn't anything wild, but for a player of his talent, it was quite reasonable, and I was pretty happy to let him go for that price, but the contracts fell through, didn't work out, came back to Milan that well, and now we're stuck with him again. I guess stuck with him isn't the right word, but Galatasaray have shown interest, so maybe Milan and Galatasaray will negotiate a way uh, to form some sort of a fee similar to what the Chinese club have offered. I doubt they'll do that, but you never know, you never know. We can only hope and pray. Now, in relation to that, Milan News have said, besides Luis Adriano, Galatasaray are also interested in signing the legend himself, the one nobody's seen for weeks, for weeks, for weeks. Diego Lopez, uh, obviously the player being benched by Don Naruma, the 16-year-old, who's been a fantastic form. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to, you know, bash Don Naruma because it's not really his fault that he's been playing so well. And, you know, he's been benching Diego Lopez, arguably one of Milan's best players for a consistent amount of time. Maybe there's something else behind the scenes going on because you would think he gets some more playing time, even though Don Naruma has done well. But I guess you can also, you know, you have to consider that. Uh, at the age of 16, when you're a goalkeeper, you have to have consistent playing time. So maybe that's another factor to consider. But you never know. There could be some internal problems. may just be me not wanting to ship Diego Lopez out, cashing in, and just playing Donnarumma on a constant basis. Now, speaking of young players like Donnarumma, Andrea Patania has officially passed his medical with Atalanta, but will stay at Ascoli till June. Uh, obviously, like I mentioned in previous transfer dailies that uh, Atalanta have been very, very interested in the player. He's officially joining them. He's doing his medicals, just needs to sign the papers, and he will be off. And as I mentioned, he won't be playing for them until June, so it'll be sometime around next season, and then he'll be in their pre-season uh, uh, pre training. And that has been all for today's transfer daily. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, be sure to let me know what you think about all the deals. Would you want Hatam Ben Arfa at Milan? You know, he's a bit lazy at times. I don't know if he's that kind of mentality that Mihalovic would want. But maybe, as I said, you could squeeze something out of him. And uh, should Diego Lopez go, let me know, etc., etc. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share, and all that jazz. And as always, Forza Milan. Deuces!